Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back, guys. Uh, today we are going to solve question six of CSS GSA paper, two thousand nineteen. Uh, in part A of the question six, we will uh, solve a question related to LCM, uh, which is a concept that I haven't explained in my previous videos so far. So a clock uh, is ticking every five seconds. Uh, a tap was dipping every seventh second. And according to the question, a pet dog snored every twelfth second. And we notice that uh, all the three things happen together on the stroke of midnight. And we have to find after how many seconds all the three things happen together. So uh, if a clock is ticking every five seconds, and in the first row I have listed all the multiples of five. A tap is tipping after every seventh second, so I have listed in the second row all of the multiples of seven. Similarly, uh, the multiples of twelfth or the table of twelfth is listed in uh, row 3. So the common multiples of every number are highlighted. So uh, if I put these three tables in three rows and I have highlighted every multiple of 5 in the first row, every multiple of tw 7 in the second row, and every multiple of 12 is highlighted in the third row. In this way, uh, we can notice that the number which is common or the multiple which is common to all of the three numbers comes at the number 420 for the first time. So this 420 is the common multiple is the first common multiple of all of the three numbers. So that's why we call it the least common multiple of 5, 7, and 12. But it is a very laborious job to put all the numbers and highlight the multiples of uh, every number, uh, listing the table of every number and then highlighting the common multiple. How to do it mathematically when you are sitting in an examination hall? The most easiest and uh, the famous methodology used to solve the questions involving uh, calculation of least common multiple uh, is calculating LCM by prime factorization method. In this way, we, uh, we divide all of the given numbers uh, by prime numbers. Uh, a prime number is a number that is divisible by itself and one only. 3, 5, 7 and so on. So 2 is only divisible by 2 or 1. 3 is only divisible by 3 or 1. So the numbers which are only divisible by the number itself and 1 are called prime numbers. So we have to list all of the numbers 5, 7 and uh, 12. Uh, these three numbers which are given. The first prime number to start with is 2. So any of the number is divisible by 2, we will divide it. So 12 is divisible by 2. So 2, 6 are 12. So here uh, I have put 6 in under 12 and 7 and 5 will be repeated as the way they are because they are not divisible by 2. Similarly, now we will see again if any of the numbers is divisible by the smallest prime number, yes, 6 is again divisible by 2. So the smallest, we will start again with the smallest prime number which is 2. 2, 3s are 6 and we will repeat 7 and 5 as the way they are. Now here none of the number is divisible by 2. So we'll use the next prime number which is 3. So dividing 
3 by 3 gives us 1 and we will repeat the remaining numbers 5 and 7 because they are not divisible by 3. So since none of the number is now divisible by 3, so we will jump to the next prime number and we will di start dividing by next prime number which is 5. So 5 ones of 5 and we will repeat 7 and lastly we will divide the numbers together by 7, we will repeat 1 for 5, we will repeat 1 for uh, the 1 and 7 ones are 7. So the target is to get 1 under all of the numbers from where we started. Once we have done that, we are in a position to find the least common multiple. The number which we have on the left hand side, their product will actually give you the least common multiple of these three numbers. So multiplying 2 with 2, the result with 3 and the result with 5 and finally with 7. Product of all these numbers is 420 which I have shown you in the table before that which is the least common multiple of 5, 7 and 12. So in the words, in the language of the question, the three things will happen together after 420 seconds. So this was the required solution. Let us now move to part B of the question. Part B of the question uh, requires us to calculate uh, the rate at which work is being done. Uh, it basically requires us to calculate the time, but uh, to understand the requirement of the question, we have to first understand what do we mean by rate. Rate is basically comparison of two units. So it is represented as a ratio. Uh, I have discussed it, the concept in detail in my another uh, video, which uh, is on the title of uh, ratios and proportions. So the rate, what will be the rate of work then? Work done in given time. So we will express it as a ratio of work to time. This will be the rate of work. So rate of work done with f the first pipe, let's denote it with R1. So since there is only one pool to be filled, work done will be one. And the time it takes to fill the whole pool will be T1, the time taken by uh, f the first pipe, pipe 1. We will denote time taken by f pipe 1 to fill the, the same pool as T1. So the rate of work done by pipe 2 uh, will be the same pool which is being filled. Let's uh, Since it's only one pool, so the work done will be 1. And the time taken by pipe 2 to fill to get the pool filled will be denoted by T2. That the first pipe can fill the pool 1.25 times as fast as the second pipe. So the rate of work done by the first pipe will be 1.25 times the rate of work done by second pipe. So the equation will be R1 is equal to uh, 1.25 times of R2. So 1 over T1, I have substituted the value of R1 and again uh, for R2 I have substituted the value of uh, R2 from our earlier equations. So R1 is equal to 1.25 of R2 will look like this if we substitute the values of R1 and R2. Now it's also given in the question that 
when both pipes are opened they can fill the pool in five hours this means that the time taken by the first pipe is t1 and the time taken by the second pipe is t2 and they can fill the whole pool in five hours time so if both are the pipes are open together t1 plus t2 is equal to 5 then 1 over t1 plus 1 over t2 will be equal to 1 over 5 so i have inverse in, in inverted the first equation now filling in the values of t1 using the equation 1 so 1 over t1 is actually equal to 1.25 times of 1 over t2. So 1 over t2, this whole portion has been replaced for 1 over t1, for this one. And 1 over t2, rest of the equation is as it is. Rest of the equation has been reproduced as it was before. Now solving for t2. Doing some mathematical operations, 11.25 over T2 will be equal to 1, and T2 is equal to 11.25 hours. So, if we solve the same question for T1, the answer will be 9 hours, and if we are solving for T2, the answer is 11.25 hours. Now, the question asks us how long it will take to fill the pool if only slower pipe is used the slower pipe will take the longer time and the time taken by the slower pipe is denoted by t2 so the answer of the question will be 11.25 hours because the question is asking for the time taken by the slower pipe so if you work for the faster pipe the answer will be 9 now some of the online solutions uh, let me show you the both of the images have been taken from the internet one of the solution given correctly presents correctly solves the questions as it address addresses the requirement of the question that how much time will be taken by the slower pipe while the other solution which has also been taken from the internet it actually solves for uh, the time taken by the faster pipe from the point of view of the question this solution is incorrect so uh, my advice is to uh, it's also it's always good to uh, benefit from the online sources but uh, cho choose your uh, sources wisely uh, it's always beneficial to utilize free online sources instead of those academies that sell repetitive notes and encourage to take the subjects only they offer but the, the thing which should be kept in mind that you, you have to choose your online sources very carefully. Uh, so uh, moving forward to the third part, uh, it also involves the uh, concept of ratio. Uh, as I have already explained uh, the concept in detail in my another video, which is uh, specifically for ratios and proportion questions. So I will not go into details. I will simply present the solution here. The cost of hiring a car for two days in 2018 was 264, this one, and this 264 number was after an increase of 20% as of the cost of 2013. It means that the cost of 2013 at 20% in it and you will get the cost of 2018. Mathematically, in the form of equation, it will be presented like this. So we know that what is the cost in 2018? It is, it is 264, the information in given in the question. So putting this in, in the equation, it means that the cost of 2013, the 100% cost, obviously, add 20% more to the cost and the result will be 264. So solving it mathematically, 120% of the cost of 2013 is actually 264. Divided 120% or 
डिवाइडिंग टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फोर बाई वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट और वन पॉइंट टू गिवज यू टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सो दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड सोल्यूशन दैट द कॉस्ट इन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन वॉज टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सो दिस वॉज ऑल फ्रॉम माई साइड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर पेशेंस and in my next video i will continue uh, the paper solution of 2019 paper will be continued and i will solve question 7 for you thank you very much